Hey, what's going on? This is Marcos. Today we'll be taking a look at the Keeper Tie Revolva, uh, which you see right here. This is the, it has the filter with the two, four, and seven stops. And uh, actually my friend let me borrow this. I try to find it online right now and it's not available for sale on B&H, Amazon, or even used on eBay. You can't find it. Uh, but I did go to their website and right now you can buy it for like, well, you need to get it from the UK and once you you know if in the u.s you're gonna spend like two thousand dollars or twenty five hundred dollars if you get like some of the other accessories like chin strap or if you want uh other different filters with with uh different nds i actually like this one two four and seven a lot of times i find that seven is a sweet spot for filming in the middle of the day outside it's really sunny seven stop is usually the the way to go when you're doing like 2.9 and your base is always 800 so that's that's really good. Um, all right. Uh, I also want to compare it to this. Actually, this is the Canon Variable ND. I bought this with the Komodo from Komodo's website when it first came out, and it was one of the you know, things you could add on. And so I decided to pull the trigger. I might uh, need it for running gun situations. I've used it here and there. Also, you should consider that this is a variable ND, and this knob is pretty loose on on the adapter you don't have you have no idea what how many stops you're adding on also you can accidentally hit this little knob because it's just so loose you know you could accidentally you know tap the camera and boom your finger accidentally um hits the, the knob and now you, you it's a whole different exposure so this is not a very secure way to set your nd i i just don't like this whole system at all uh yeah i definitely prefer much ha uh, having set stops like two four and seven or two four and six which some of my cameras my cinema cameras have by standard is two four and six this is two four and seven which actually works out quite nicely you know i'm, I'm glad they added that extra stop for shooting outside so the first thing i want to show you is a test and just keep in mind that this is right here right now it's four hundred dollars i might have spent more but this you're looking at like two thousand dollars for the revolver so you know so i, I expect to see better results out of the revolver. Let's look at it. First off, this is the Canon variable ND. And as you can see, as you get into the higher stops, it starts introducing magenta, where the nine stops, there's a huge magenta shift. Now looking at the revolver using the same test, the colors are pretty much the same. Uh, going from two to four to seven stops, there's no color difference really. So I'm really happy with those results. So as you can see, the revolver is definitely better. You get more color accuracy across the different stops, uh, this, you get a huge blue shift, uh, which reminds me that I should probably sell this or just store away, never use it again. So in this case, you know, you, you get what you pay for. But again, most of the time for myself, I'm usually using a matte box and using four by five ND filters in front. Um, that's usually the way to go because you can use that matte box on different camera systems and all your lenses, whereas this is just for your Komodo or anything that's RF mount, um, you know, something to think about. You know, I, I honestly, if I had to spend the money, I'd say go with the matte box and ND filters because that you can transfer it to any camera body, which often is the case for me. I use a lot of different camera bodies, different lenses. And so for me, I want to have that flexibility to use my filtration on any camera. Uh, but if you're using RF mount, this Komodo, I mean, and this is your go-to and you really want to kit it out and make it very custom, then I say it's, you know, it's a good option. So let me show you other things from this. That's quite nice. It has a locking system. So you twist here, comes out, which is great. That way you don't get any wiggle room. Also, if you, you buy the, the chin strap, it's even more secure. Another thing you can do if you don't have the chin strap, you can, uh, your lenses, you can attach, usually sometimes they already have a, an attachment down here so you can get a lens support adapter and it attaches to the rails and you can support the lens that way especially if it, as it gets heavier or you're pulling focus and you need to be very precise you want to make sure you don't have any kind of wiggle room so that's pretty neat um you know it's heavy duty this is all plastic this cannon is all plastic whereas this is more metal and in order to remove it well before we get there let me show you right now it has four stops and then you rotate where is it and this is seven stops right there 
this is clear, so no ND, and this is two stops right there. And then it has this little screw that you can you know, twist and lock it so it doesn't accidentally move on you, which is great. You know, now there's no play, you don't accidentally move it. Also, if you lose it, it's not gonna come undone and lose it by accident, so that's great. I've, I have other devices where you gotta be careful with screws. If you loosen them too much, they just fall off. So this won't fall off. And in order to remove the the whole filter or take it off the Komodo, you first gotta unscrew it, loosen this knob, this little screw here. Take out the ND itself like this. And then you can access the button to twist this off. There you go, and it comes off. There it is, all nice and metal, really great build quality. I mean, it just feels so robust. So you see all these um, these touch points, it communicates with the camera, so you can read out the f-stop and the focal length. So in, in case you have those automatic lenses, you know, you can take advantage of that. So it's all there. And if you're paying over $2,000 for something like this, you better get a nice quality. So can't complain there. There you lock it in and then bring in the filter again there's different filters you can get for this uh, this is the two four and seven stop which would be my go-to if I were to only get one filter set it'd be this or just one filter tray it would be this one and just lock it in just for fun and then bring in the lens like this there you go unlock that's it um, yeah, I, I guess the last thing to mention is that you don't have exact stops on this Canon filter on top of that, and which is very annoying. You don't know where you're at, as opposed to having precise knowledge of, of how many stops you're at in a ND, which is great for when you're shooting outside and you have a, a meter or you know you want to cut down light by two stops. You can do so with precision using something like this, like the Revolva. Whereas this, you have no idea what you're, how much stops of ND you're adding on. So I, I, I just gotta give it up for that. Um, again, it all comes to choice, what you need, what you, what you think you're gonna do down the line. If your Komodo's your go-to line, it's a great option to go something like this. You probably don't wanna spend on this after seeing the results. Um, if you're not gonna spend money on this, go with the map box and uh, these four by five trays and get something professional. You can stack multiple multiple uh, filtrations it could be black pro mist uh, you know four stops two stops of ND or whatever it is uh, that also gives you a lot of flexibility so I much prefer the map box op map box option but then again you're adding a lot more bulk weight you're trying to go stay very nimble and, and have everything built in definitely there's an ease in just being able to twist this knob and getting some stops in your camera and shoot, you know you can go and run and gun and shoot outside so that's a great benefit on something like this. All right. So if you have any questions, please let me know. As always, appreciate you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.